Okay, guys, I'm here today with Harry Akins. Huge honor for me. Guys, Harry is the third American black belt from Hickson Gracie and probably the person who spent the most time with Hickson because he was the head instructor of the Hickson headquarters in California. And today he's going to show us here how to never get stuck on the armbar from close guard. I think like most of the times people hit the armbar from close guard. The biggest challenge is to not get stuck. Yeah, right especially off. when you're dealing with bigger guys, bigger heavy guys, right? And the thing about getting stacked is not only is it super uncomfortable, but if you try to extend out, that's where a lot of people get their back injured. A lot of people have back injuries from trying to extend yeah. when someone's stacking them. And most of the times when you fail, they end up passing the guard, like mm -hmm. they end up on top. Or, or even if it's if they don't pass, it's a very uncomfortable position. Yeah. Not the close guard anymore, most of the time. Right, most of the time you yeah. they end up, basically they, they stack you and then they end up cross-eyed. Yeah. So not only do you lose the attack, but now you're in a bad position. Yeah. Yep. Right, so um, let's do it. Let's do it from this way because uh, yeah, my like right this arm. Your, this is the good arm, right? Yeah, this is the surgery one. Oh, then then let's switch sides. Okay. So the idea is this: when we go for so the way that there's there's a lot of different ways that are taught to do the arm lock. Okay, the way that I learned to do the arm lock is basically a little bit of a shorter and it's kind of a two step method. So. Um, a lot of times people teach this, put the foot here, move your head, sure. right, and then pass, right? So the way that we do the arm lock is basically less steps, right? I just move my head, okay? I open my legs, and then what happens is my legs do the job. So my legs do this. I got it, it's okay. tight. So, yeah, so what are the details? So the idea is when I go for the arm lock, and how when when is a good time for me to go to the arm lock? How do I know what's a good indicator? The good indicator, of the time to go for an arm lock is basically anytime your arm goes through the center of my body, right? Okay. And so one of the ways that we just play with it and train it is I just have the guy put his arm here. Okay. Right? So one of the things when I go for the arm lock, I need to move my hips around your arm. Okay. Right? The problem is if my head is here, it's really difficult to move my hips around your arm. Yep. So we do a little head movement first. And the way that I do that is I just lift my shoulders off the ground. Yep. And I move my shoulders first. So just by adjusting, so what you notice is I'm keeping my legs crossed. Yep. Right? So the first move is just the adjustment, right? I just move my head. Okay. Right? Now what happens is because my head is angled off, it's easier for get me to get my hips around. And by doing this, I don't lose anything. Okay. Right? I still have the closed guard. And you guard. don't waste time either, like. Huh? You don't waste yeah, time just, It's just a closed guard, right? Yep. I'm not doing this because as soon yep. as I do this, what do you do? Yeah, I know what I know. You're going to pull your arm. Yeah. Right? So a lot of times I'm, I can be here, I can be grabbing or whatever, or setting this up. And then if you're pushing yeah. with your arm, if you're trying to get posture, right? I just make this little adjustment. Okay. So the next step is what's really important. What are my legs doing? Okay, because my legs are responsible for not only keeping you in the arm lock, okay? But also preventing myself from getting stacked. Okay. Okay. So I have two legs and they both do something very, very specific. Okay. So the first adjustment I make, boom. I open my legs and you see how my leg, yep. I want, I come all the way up underneath your armpit. Yep. And when I come up underneath your armpit with my leg, one of the things that this leg does is it actually pushes you away from me. So when I come underneath, do you see how your knee yes. starts to get light? Yep. Right? The thing is I don't want to push you too far because your elbow comes out, right? So when I move, right? Yeah, you see right how my side. Okay, and then what happens is this leg clamps down. So what's important when I go for this arm lock is that I pull my toes back to me because it allows me to engage my hamstrings more, right? Yeah, right so, from, so from here, look, this leg is actually responsible for you lifting up and pulling your arm out. So if this leg is light, lift your head up. Yeah, you see how you can lift your head up and you see how you can pull that arm out? Yeah. So the idea is when you go for the arm lock, A, you shouldn't be able to pull your arm out. Yep. And B, you shouldn't be able to stack me either, Good. okay? This leg is responsible to prevent the stack, right? Good. So this is the most important leg to prevent the stack. And what I do is when I go, I push, and the goal for me is to keep an angle from my knee to my chest so that I can never let my knee get closer to my chest. So go drive into me, Bernardo. There's no way. Right? Yeah, even if you get up, even if you put your other leg up and you start to drive into there, me. There's no way to lift the leg, that's the problem. Because all your weight, yeah, you feel? No and the other thing too is this, look, do you it's see this tight. bite? Yeah. So pull your arm out. Ah, it's tight, there's no right? way. 
And then look how little movement I need to break. It's almost like pushing the gear, kind of. Huh? It's almost like you're driving and pushing the gear. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm clamping down on you, right? So the, what we call that is biting. Like that's the bite where I put, basically what I'm doing is I'm locking everything down, yep. right? So what's, what's nice about this arm lock is it's really quick when you do it right, it's really fast. Um, there's not much of a telegraph because the other method that people do the arm lock, you basically do this and then you put your foot here. Like as soon as I grab your elbow, I'm already telegraphing the arm lock. I agree. Right, when I grab here, you already know the arm lock's coming in, you're gonna posture up. Yep. And then I need to put my foot on the ground, then I need to move this, and then I can, so it's like a three or four step process, right? Yep. We're here, like I can be playing, whatever, and then, <sighs> Yeah, no, I see? love it, yeah, I love it how you don't telegraph what you're doing, you know, like, because many times you were 100% right, like, if you're in the close guard, and if you show me that you're gonna do the arm bar, man, mm -hmm. I'm defended. Like, right. There's no you can get it right now. Yeah. Or it would be very hard. Yeah, it's hard. I have to, but I have also, to don't show me what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Now the game is starts. Yeah. So normally, I just pull the guy in. I'm just trying to pull him in. And what happens is people try to get posture, right? And there you go. Man, that's incredible. Right? So, that's incredible. and you feel like now if you try to stack. There is no way. And this leg, look, right now, because my leg is like, you can pull your elbow out, right? Yeah. So this leg, pull your elbow out. There is no way. So even without my hands, right? Try to pull your arm out, it's the bite. And yeah. what you notice is the more I pull, if I do, if I point my toes, it's not as hard as I, you feel that? Yeah, I agree. So when I pull, so that's an important detail for the arm lock. When you go for the arm lock, the legs are responsible for controlling your body, you right? This leg keeps, your, keeps you from stacking me. And this leg basically keeps, keeps everything tight so you can't pull your arm out, you can't posture up. Yeah. Oh, Henry, and also, like, uh, I know how good you are with the cross collar choke. Uh -huh. So, I love it how you put your first hand in the collar. And then I was thinking about some cross collar choke over there. And then when I see you had the armor, so it's almost like Yeah. A so, I, I set it up a lot like this because I'm like, even if you're sitting up, right? I sit up and I get the cross collar. Yeah. Right? And a lot of times I fake here. Yeah. Because now you push away. And that's the time. Yeah. And then I'll, yeah. I'll attack it. Man, that's right. incredible. So, that's the thing is, in order for you to avoid the cross collar, a lot of guys I got will it push up. Sure. And boom, man, that's so easy. And it's really tight. Right? Yeah. And so that's the thing is, if you're tight with your legs, once your hip hits, the arm's already breaking. I got it. You feel how like, boom, you like, I can kind of feel because I've been doing it so long, like I can feel the place where there's like enough tension in your arm where I'm not hurting you, yep. right? But that's the goal is it's so fast that as soon as I, in the arm lock, you're already like, oh, Got it. No, and also like I love the fact how your probably like two favorite submissions from Kolsgar mm -hmm. are very basic. It's like armbar and cross collar choke. Yeah. It's not nothing. Something that everybody can do from from yeah. white to black belt. Nothing fancy, right? But yeah. the basics work. I agree. Know? And I think uh, you know Hodger Gracie is probably the most perfect example I agree. of uh, I agree. of how effective they can be when you actually put the time in. On the every single, yeah, yeah. No, and uh, I went to visit him in London, and we were talking about that. He was like, "Man, everything I do is very basic." Mm -hmm. But if you see how many details I have on all these basic moves, yeah, and uh, then it's not basic anymore now because there's so right. many the advanced basics. He knows yeah. he knows how to apply it because basically what happens is at the high level, at the black belt level, right? When we start to attack, the person is gonna to start to defend. So they're gonna to start to create problems for us. So he knows how to deal with all of the problems that the person is gonna to try to create so that he can still get to the finish of the attack, right? Yep. So that's the thing. He knows if he puts a hand inside the collar, they might put the hand underneath, they might do this, they might do that. He already knows how to shut everything down so that he can, you uh, know. No, that's incredible. Yeah, when, when I filmed with him, it was, was, was very fun. But uh, guys, anyways, uh, Harry has an entire structure all about close guard attacks. And the arm bar is one, one of them. Cross collar choke is another one. And the, all the other ways Henry also does the arm bar, many other ways he does the cross collar choke. So it's very, very interesting. And as you guys can see, he's one of the best instructors that you can ever find. And uh, make sure to check that out. And thanks so much, Henry. Yeah, thank you guys for all your thank support. You. And thank you, Bernardo, for always having me out and taking such great care of me. Thank you, appreciate it, Henry. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under See More Videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.